apologize for still using fracts from time to time. But I trust that will not distract you from your beauty experience when otherwise occupied. I apologize for any inconvenience again. Isn't this just like old times? Well, now, pay attention, Mr. Freeman. I'm only going to say this once. As a consequence of your actions, my employers authorize me to nudge things in a particular direction to change the fate of our world and take matters into your hands. But wait. You are aware, Dr. Freeman, that you've proven yourself to be of extraordinary value, given the interests of my employers. But I'm afraid you have struggled to impress the naysayers that misunderstand the situation. Quelling mm. them is out of the question. For now, as I am owed a considerably large repayment for my services. Still, my employers' objections are multitude. They disagree with my appraisal. They believe you have been unable or unwilling to perform the tasks laid before you. They say we need to imprison Gordon Freeman and find a suitable replacement. They want me to release a previous hire from Texas to continue your good work and finish the job at hand. I know some would love to exchange you for Miss Vance. Well, now, for your own survival, listen carefully, Dr. Freeman. Keep an eye on the screen and prepare for foreseen consequences.